Hi, I'm smart shopping expert Trey Bodge and today I wanted to talk about how to avoid holiday debt. Now, if you're thinking back to January and remember getting all your credit card bills and going, holy crap, I really overdid it. Hopefully we can prevent that this year by taking a couple of early steps. So first of all, I would love it if you would start keeping track of your gift list. So write down everyone that you shopped for, if you remember what you bought them last year, and a general idea of what you spent, and then keep this running list moving forward. So use a table in Word, use Excel, use the memo function on your phone. Whatever you prefer is totally fine, but you can use this year over year to get a sense of how much you're spending every year, who you're spending it on, um, and add up that number and ask yourself, do I have enough money to afford this level of gift giving this year? So if the answer is no, and you need to cut back a little bit, the first place that I would look at cutting back a little bit on our groups. So if you and your coworkers are exchanging gifts over the holidays, or if you're exchanging gifts with your family every year and it's getting out of control, propose something else. Say, hey, why don't we do a white elephant? Why don't we draw names? When it's with the family, why don't we just give to the kids? Because do we need any more gifts from everybody that we're not gonna use? No. So find ways to cut back. Inevitably, there will be people who are in, on the same page as you and they will be so grateful that you brought it up. So that's a good way to cut that gift list back. Also, take a look at that gift list and say, Am I still hanging out with this person? Did we exchange gifts last year or did I just give them a gift and they gave me a card? Sometimes you gotta make some cuts. Take a look and see if you can cut back a little bit. Next up, have you been saving all year for your holiday shopping? No? Okay, so don't worry, it's not too late. What you can do is start a holiday fund right now. So commit to putting aside 10 bucks a week, 20 bucks a week, whatever you can spare. If you don't have any to spare or you don't have enough to spare, think about cutting back on a couple things like that weekly manicure, that monthly car wash. Are you paying a cleaning person to clean your house? These are all things that you could feasibly do yourself for a little while. So if you forego these things for a little bit, stuff that money away in a savings account or better yet, set up an investing account with an auto withdrawal so you don't have to think about it. Um, I like Stash for this. Stashinvest.com is a great place to start saving. They will invest that money for you. And then by the time Black Friday, Cyber Monday rolls around, you'll have a little pot to shop with. If you're not good with credit cards and you get yourself into trouble with them, shop with cash. Um, it's always nice to shop with credit cards to take advantage of those points and benefits, but if you can't handle the credit cards, if you're not prepared to pay them off in full, at the end of December, then do not use them. Next up, start shopping a little bit early. Keep your eyes open for sales. Use those savings tools that I always talk about, like Slick Deals. If you're gonna buy a big gift for someone, set a deal alert for it on Slick Deals and wait until that item goes on sale. Or create your own sale by shopping with a discounted gift card from a site like Gift Card Granny. Those are two ways to save easily along the way. Also, toys are a good thing to start buying now because if you've got kids on your list and they want one of those hot toys like an LOL Surprise or a Hatchimals, those items might sell out. So you might just wanna get them now, sock them away, and then it's one less thing you need to do a little bit later. Now, another really cool tool that I recently discovered is called Rank Tracer. If you like to shop on Amazon, this is something you should absolutely be using. Rank Tracer monitors the prices on Amazon for thousands of items. So you can go to Rank Tracer, you can take a look around their site. They have things set up by categories. You can also enter a search term and look for something. They give you so much information. They monitor the sales by the hours. So you can see how the prices go up and down. You can look at their graphs and charts if you really want to get into it, you really can. Otherwise, they have more top level information that you can look at. They'll let you know when they think something is a fantastic deal and you should pounce on it right now. They have coupons that you can use too. So it's a really great tool if you are an Amazon shopper like me. And then while you're thinking of holiday shopping right now, if you're a little bit creative or you're crafty, why don't you think about making some gifts? It's a great way to save money. It's a great way to get your kids involved and make more personalized gifts. So if you knit, if you craft, if you have a glue gun, start making some cool things and you will save a lot of money that way. Plus the recipients will be really excited to get something that's more homemade and from the heart. So 
great way to save money along the way. So it's a really good time to start thinking about holiday shopping. So I hope that you're doing this. Make that list, make that budget, start saving and avoid that nightmare when all those credit card bills come in January. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share it with your friends. Go to truetray.com for more smart shopping content. Sign up for my email newsletter so you never miss anything that I'm covering. And I hope that you found this helpful. Happy shopping and happy holidays.